Hello everybody, welcome to my talk about distributed serverless chatbot networks. My name is Stefan Bosse, I'm a lecturer and researcher at the University of Bremen. So, I will uh, address uh, distributed chatbot networks using mobile agents. And this is basically a distributed database model, for example, for social networking and data analytics. So, first of all, here we have the motivation and the summary, um, what's uh, the primary goal of this work. First of all, networking. The work, this work addresses a novel distributed chatbot network methodology architecture. Then we address mobility. Chatbots are implemented by mobile agents, that means mobile software. And we address interaction, that means chatbots performing dialogues by using a script and knowledge database. So what are the objectives? First of all, we want to go from human machine to human network communication. That means we want to implement next generation chatbots that improve social networking. We want to fill the reality gap. So we have the hypothesis, a group of cooperating chatbots can improve quality of dialogue flows significantly. Then scalability is addressed. Distributed chatbot networks implemented with self-organizing agents can extend knowledge bases and fit to large scale environments like smart city, for example, performing crowd control. And finally, sensors are addressed. That means chatbots are not limited to conversation only. That's a typical case. They are sensor data sources for analytics too. So what is the state of the art, where we are? Today, human machine dialogues performed and moderated by chatbots are ubiquitous. You find it on many, in many, on many devices, uh, at many de places, different places, and so on. So chatbots are now integrated in popular messaging programs and also appear as standalone services like Amazon Alexa, you know it maybe, Microsoft's Cordana and Apple's uh, Siri. Central part of dialogue robots is natural language processing, NLP, and knowledge logic to represent the environmental state, the world around a chatbot, a person that is talking with the chatbot and so on. So here you see uh, a short um, overview of the history of chatbot or dialogue robots. Starting with Eliza, we will uh, get in touch with Eliza later. And uh, here uh, in the 60s uh, of the last century, uh, Cleverbot will be addressed here, uh, at least uh, to show how uh, it will fit uh, to a more conversational uh, dialogue robot. And here, then we have at about 2010, the smartphone era uh, with uh, Sorry by Apple, um, Alexa and so on, yeah, and finally uh, um, injecting uh, the the dialogue robots in uh, commonly used um, social media uh, like messenger services, uh, Telegram, Skype, and so on. So this is history, and we will get in touch with Eliza and Cleverbot later, and finally, of course, with the new chatbot architecture introduced in this work. So here we see. Eliza. Eliza is a psycho and really based on the kiss, keep it simple and safe or stupid, uh, uh, paradigm. It's about 1000 lines of JavaScript code here integrated in the uh, presentation. And let's ask him something. I like red roses. You say like red roses? Well, maybe. Um, so we can ask something. What is your name? Okay, my name is Eliza, but I've told you before I don't care about names. Please continue. Okay, you see, it's a, a typical um, class of dialogue, uh, and but it's uh, relatively powerful. How old are you? It says, this was added by me, uh, he's 55 years old uh, from the beginning of Eliza. Uh, but what if I were? So it's uh, another question uh, sent by the uh, Eliza bot. So I said, a totally different question or effect, the house is empty. 
So, and then you see the psychologist's uh, typical uh, dialogue flow uh, and uh, the question-answer dialogue. What does that su suggest to you? So, it's 1,000 lines of code and it's some meaningful dialogue we can perform with a machine. Okay, let's go to the next generation bot, Cleverbot, well known, uh, the successor of Jabberwacky. Let's ask him the same question. I like red roses. Okay, he said, I like pink roses. So there's a, some kind of uh, um, pattern matching, uh, natural language processing that can transfer uh, a specific question uh, to a fact. Yeah. So I, and the second question, how old are you? I believe I already told you this. No, that's not true. Okay, and the third question, the house is empty. Okay, you see, uh, Cleverboard is community-driven and uh, it's, it uh, had performed one billion conversations and more and has a large database. It's a typical, typically example uh, for a server-based um, um, uh, dialogue robot and with a very large uh, database. So, okay, let's, oops, uh, let's ask some uh, question more. Who is Donald Trump? My uh, lovely question. Who is Donald Trump? Okay, a politician. Well, no, okay, maybe, uh, maybe. Um, let's ask Eliza, who is Donald Trump? Have you asked anyone else? This is a quite smart uh, answer yeah, or a response to this. Eliza, I don't know, it's from the 60s. No, Ronald Reagan was an actor at this time, I, I think, but they don't know what who is Donald Trump. Okay, you see, two, two examples, very, uh, very, very simple um, um, uh, chatbot and uh, yeah, more complex uh, adaptive chatbot. But uh, you see in both cases, um, if I ask it twice, uh, also Eliza has a chat history and remembers already asked questions. So it, it doesn't uh, repeat the same th or answer the same or responds with the same uh, answer um, uh, twice. This is important, of course, uh, I think Cleverbot will do it again. Um, who is Donald Trump? Okay, silent. Oh, oh, you see, uh, it's not, uh, it's an example of a not, um, um, uh, of a database that is not uh, actualized at, 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 on, the, at, on the present uh, state of, of the uh, news. Uh, so he thinks he's uh, the president of the US still, uh, and he doesn't. I can uh, just uh, 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 contradict it. No, he isn't. Just see who is then. Oh, uh, yes, I don't know, Biden. Is he? Yes, oh, I hope I wrote uh, the name correctly. Okay, commonly centralized, centralized and server-based chatbot software is used to implement rule-based and intelligent dialogue robots. Human networking is not supported, both examples here. Many chatbots are still simple finite state machines with limited knowledge bases, language understanding and capability to construct meaningful dialogue flows. There's missing user personalization Cleverbot has some kind of user personalization, Eliza of course not. There's no user feedback propagation and adaptation. Cleverbot has an adaptation by learning, uh, by doing dialogues. And you see uh, there are some community um, slang uh, inside its, its database. So he adapts, but there's no really a feedback propagation and, uh, and real adaptation to uh, to uh, update the dialogues um, to improve the quality. So, um, we need some special interaction interfaces. We need human bot interaction, you saw it already. Machine bot interaction, for example, uh, search engines are a kind of a machine bot interaction. Bot bot interaction, that's actually missing. And human network, that means human bot human interaction is required. These are missing parts actually and we want, with our work and our uh, approach, we want to fill these both, or well, to add these both features, bot-bot interaction and human network interaction. 
So, a short taxonomy of chatbots and classes. Uh, that means human machine interfaces. There are the question answer bots. Uh, Eliza is a typical um, example, uh, but mainly question answer bots are frequently ask question scripts. So they are basically information sources. Cleverbot is a very bad information source. You saw it already. Um, uh, Donald Trump is no, uh, is no president any longer. So it's uh, not updated correctly. It's database. Uh, he's more a conversational uh, bot uh, for entertainment. Uh, okay, Eliza was uh, implemented to uh, show that a machine can pass the uh, uh, Turing test. Uh, Jabberwocky was um, uh, the early uh, approach. Uh, Cleverbot was the successor. Alexa and Osiris are more uh, personalized um, uh, chatbots, but Alexa is more or less uh, an advertising platform. So we have intelligent uh, and learning bots, and we have personalized bots that has to be considered. So, and the dialogue processor is an important part um, of uh, the chatbot agent and the architecture behind. And we have, of course, uh, initially static bots. That means the dialogue processor uses a simple question-answer table, a finite state machine. We have dynamic bots. The dialogue processor uses an extensible and modifiable dialogue database. Then we have rule-based bots. That means conversational rules provide the base for reactive chatbots. That is basically that are basically simple symbolic agents with an outside-in approach, and we have finally intelligent bots, uh, more natural, dynamic, and reactive bots based on sub-symbolic learning agents with an inside-out approach. So, uh, what's the concept and architecture of our approach uh, towards smart city environments and self-star event management? That means self-adaptive, self-organizing, and so on. And events can be cultural uh, events, can be uh, emergency events, traffic, error, and so on, crowd control, and so on. So, the main um, um, feature is uh, of our approach is that chatbots are mobile agents. A chatbot is implemented and represented by a mobile software agent. The agent poses a state-based reactive agent behavior that is programmed in JavaScript and processed by a JavaScript agent machine. And the agent performs dialogue uh, moderation processing and thesis database management knowledge discovery and networking and learning and planning on higher level so here you see uh, the overall uh, chatbot agent platform uh, agent and platform here we have the agent programmed in javascript uh, here we have the dialogue uh, database and uh, a knowledge database we have the dialogue processor and here we have uh, the javascript agent machine the agent platform the agent uh, can access a lot of uh, sensors like uh, external uh, web APIs um, and it can communicate with other chatbot agents via uh, uh, very simple uh, messaging. This is shown uh, in the next slide. So the dialogue database uh, is the important part of the chatbot agent. It's owned by the chatbot agent and it consists of active functional dialogue snippet rows. So in a dialogue snippet uh, can address different classes of dialogues, reactive, proactive and survey. And the snippet is functional and state-based data structure capable of executing database queries, natural language processing, requesting sensors, contacting external services and modifying the snippets itself and the database. So here you see the snippet format. It consists of uh, data and functions, and uh, the snippet functions can perform NLP supplied by access to the compromise framework that is here used. And sensors, location, for example, or external web APIs can be accessed to uh, by these functions. So here you see the uh, basic uh, chatbot agent model, the behavior model. And we have uh, the um, typical perception uh, phase, uh, inference, update, planning, action, and finally, uh, natural language syn synthesis. Here we have uh, the input uh, coming uh, from the compromise framework, and we have uh, sensors input. And here we have two databases, uh, the script databases and a logic database to represent uh, environmental lot, uh, knowledge, uh, to represent uh, events, for example, uh, and so on. So, chatbot communication is an important part, and networking is performed um, via uh, web RPEs, for example, to access weather or map services, wiki queries, and so on. We have bot-bot communication to, ex 
content information range. And we have bot other bot communication, for example, communication with Cleverbot to extend conversational capabilities. So here we see uh, the uh, the bot bot communication uh, using messaging, and uh, there are two kinds: uh, the request and the inform messages. And the uh, inform messages can just update the dialogue database or the, and the knowledge database of another chatbot agent. This is controlled, of course, by the chatbot, um, the receiving chatbot. And the request um, message can uh, initiate uh, a dialogue snippet or the execution of a dialogue snippet uh, on a remote node uh, managed by a chatbot agent. So two humans can be interact via these chatbot agents using this messages messaging and the request message message can uh, initiate an execution of a dialogue snippet on a remote chatbot platform via the chatbot agent okay let's see a short demonstration and uh, here we have a simple case uh, we have two platforms or two chatbot apps with two users, uh, will be simulated by me, uh, two chatbot agents, and they are connected via the internet, via a jam rally, and uh, both platforms are connected um, uh, to the Cleverbot um, and um, the Open Weather uh, uh, web service. So let's make uh, a short demonstration. Here it's only uh, in the terminal, it's just a terminal app, but it's just for the demonstration. And you see here, I started the, the app and uh, uh, there's actually no chatbot agent started. I start uh, the second app and uh, this starts a chatbot agent. And this chatbot agent is replicated, uh, or replicates uh, a copy of itself and sent it here to the second platform. And you see, we have uh, the same, or the copy of the, chatbot agent here in the second uh, chatbot app. So, okay, let's start to ask some question. What's the weather here in Bremen? Okay, um, the weather at your location is mist and zero degree Celsius. So, um, ask him, where is the next train station? So, he don't know and he doesn't actually uh, is attached to a uh, um, location service. So, in this case, the message is transferred as a dialogue snippet to the other uh, chatbot agent and he will present it. Oh, okay, I was too, too, too slow. Uh, again, um, it's uh, uh, 10 kilometers uh, east uh, and you see the second user give the information and this is returned here uh, to the requesting agent and presented uh, finally to the first user. Okay, let's ask who is Donald Trump? It's of course a question that can't be answered uh, here by the chatbot agents. Okay, he said, don't understand. Let's just repeat it. Oh, okay, the president of user. Okay, you know it actually. Uh, where I am, so we can uh, give some more. Um, what? Oh, uh, this was a misspelling. Okay, your current position is estimated at Bremen. So we can ask, uh, what is uh, the weather? Uh, in Vienna. Okay, clear sky, four degrees Celsius, and so on. So you see here two connected chatbots, and the chatbot agents are connected uh, to uh, other services like the Cleverbot RPE. If uh, the current uh, chatbot don't know what he uh, have to answer, uh, how to deal with it, and you see here uh, the snippet database only consists of 20 dialogue snippets, so a size about 10 kilobytes. So a short demonstration, just come to the conclusion, the fusion of chatbot technologies with multi-agent systems enabled the orchestration and connection of dynamic large-scale bot networks. They are capable to interact with users dynamically, either directly or indirectly via bot messaging. Both specialization by hierarchical bot networks as well as cooperation is supported. That means a knowledge extension. Uh, and specially separated users can be connected and profit from extending the information range via chatbot agents. Yeah, and the slim processing web platform or processing platform can be easily integrated in existing software or web pages. The demonstration showed only a terminal application, but it can be integrated in any web page in a uh, smartphone app and so on. 
uh, and especially, uh, especially supporting mobile networks and devices. Yeah, and finally, low resource requirements is a um, relevant feature that is addressed uh, and uh, satisfied by this approach. Finally, the dialogue databases owned by a chatbot agent consist of active dialogue snippets that can be exchanged, shown in the uh, demonstration, and the agent bot communication and action enables distribute knowledge and dialogue database. But one main issue of the simplified NLP and script snippet database approach is the quality of dialogues and the acceptance of users that must be improved in future work. Okay, thank you for your attention. All questions are welcome and further information can be found here at these both uh, internet addresses. And yeah, I'm, uh, all questions are welcome. Thank you for your attention.